The aspect of the users in a mobile network actually is divided into three main parts here in this small sequence for mobile networks. The first part is a question how to identify users. The second is how to do the handover. And the third is how to register to users, how to maintain the user basis in the network. So let's go to the first point, tracking users in the network. How do we do that? How do we identify the users? We have basically one main primary key for a user. It's the IMSI, the International Mobile Subscriber ID. And this IMSI consists of three parts. The first part is the mobile country code. So it is a code, a three-digit code for the country the user stands from. If you come from Germany, if you have a contract for your mobile phone in Germany, then the MCC is 262. Other countries have other codes. And there is a worldwide table for all countries with all mobile country codes. The second part is the mobile network code. Mobile network code means that you might have different mobile network providers in each country. And in Germany, for example, there's the code 01 for T-Mobile, 02 for Vodafone, 07 for Telefonica. And there are other codes also for other networks from uh, providers which were bought, for example, E Plus was a provider before and it was bought from Telefonica and uh, still there's a mobile network code for the network of E Plus. And the last part is the mobile subscriber identification number, the MZIN. And this MZIN needs to be unique in one country only. So all the providers within one country have to agree for this mobile subscriber identification app. And if you have this IMSI, then you can identify the mobile user worldwide. And therewith, the IMSI is also a good candidate for a primary key in our home location register, our home location register, which is the register for all users in our network. The home location register is one component where, is the, where the IMSI is saved. The other component is the subscriber identity module, the SIM. The SIM card is a smart card you put in your phone, you put in your smartphone, and this contains the IMSI. And therewith, the mobile phone, the smartphone is able to identify itself in the network. And therewith, with this identification, the authentication and authorization process can be started and the mobile phone, the mobile station then has access to the services for which the contract is made with the mobile phone provider. The SIM, as you know, is protected by a password. You have to log in with a password. In some countries, you can also neglect the password, so you don't need to have a password for your SIM but in Germany, it's recommended to have the password for your SIM. And you can also move your SIM to another phone. So you can move your identity as the network participant, as a network user, to another mobile station. And then this other mobile station will get the identity of the SIM card, which is in the phone. 